It looks so good. Okay, you guys. We went to Costco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had new stuff. I'm very, very excited. They have these leggings at Costco for $10. They're from the Fila. Fila. Fila brand. Oh, hopefully you guys can see me. Is it? Fila. There we go. They had these shorts for $10. If you guys are looking for nice, comfortable shorts, they also tie in the middle and have a waistband or elastic waistband, and it's by the brand Pacific Trail. I got an extra large. These were $10. I got them in black, and they feel so good. I actually am really happy that I got these because a few weeks ago, I bought Carlo some, and I'm in love with the material. It feels really, really soft. It's like butter. So I got them in another color, these gray ones. So these will give you a better idea of what they look like. Are they stretchy? Um, yeah, they're really nice. Yeah. And then Carlos got these Puma shorts, which he's not too sure about. Yeah, I'm gonna try them on because they look Wait, a little look, long. They, they look a little long. If they are, then we're gonna return it tomorrow. Because... Tomorrow. When was it, yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday, we went to our friend Veronica and Ruben's house. By the way, congratulations, you guys are going to home again. And Ruben, well, they got a grill. And it's a Traeger one. It's a Traeger. Ruben sold us. He's yeah. obsessed. It's a Traeger 620. It's like the Traeger 620. I don't know $10. If you guys, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have heard of it. Oh, this is, this, these are like the same brand that this is. I, you guys saw They're it They're so good. Time. I love it. It's like super stretchy. I'm going to try these on. And now that it's hot, it's like a material that doesn't, it's not thick. So it feels nice when you're out and it's like super hot. But anyways. They got a grill, it's called the Traeger. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it or anything like that, but he basically sold us on it. And it uses like these little wood chips that look like, they look like gerbil food. They're called pellets. They, yeah, they use these little like wood pellets, you put it on the side and you don't need propane. And I'm like, that's super awesome because I hate dealing with propane. I hate having to go refill it up. And I just think that would be too much of a hassle. So, ooh, you like them? Yeah. They look nice. I'm glad I got an extra large. I was, gonna go, I was gonna go with the large, but I'm glad that I got the extra large. These are nice! They're comfortable! I like them. Oh, and you know what I like? They're they're short, but they're long enough where my when my thighs rub, mm. they don't like bunge up. Right. Are they stretchy? Oh my god, I love these! Ten dollars, you guys, Costco. What is the brand again? Pacific Trail. Pacific Trail. Ooh, let me try out. Oh, and they have pockets too. And I love the elastic waistband and it ties in the middle. These are a must. You guys should go get these. I highly recommend. I'll probably be wearing... Wait, Bing, I want more. Well, uh, I saw this color and I forgot to tell you. Did you see those like purplish ones? Yeah, but I didn't want to go overboard in case they didn't look good on me. Uh, but I like, I really like that color. Okay, tomorrow I'm going to go back and get more because I will live in these. Oh, it's basically that color but in purple. Oh, this like is so it nice. looks like that. It has like that um. This like static the, the tri blend. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let me try on these gray ones for you guys. But yeah, we're gonna pick up our grill tomorrow. Hopefully, they were out of stock, and the guy was like, "Oh, I think I'm getting more tomorrow." So he's gonna give us a call as soon as he gets them in. So we're gonna finally have a grill. I'm very excited. And you can control it through your phone. That's super dope. Yeah. Ooh. These are nice. My underwear is like out. These are nice. I think, I think you could have gone large. You don't think so? I don't like when my shorts are too tight because my thighs are bigger. Mm. So they'll rub when I walk. And I like to be comfortable. These are these fit me perfectly, babe. They like feel the, really nice. I like the purple ones, the ones that I saw. I just forgot to tell you. Okay, I'll have to go back and get the purple ones. I like these. And I want more of the black. Oh my god, $10! These are nice! I like these. Yeah, Costco has some nice stuff. I didn't realize until Kim started buying me stuff from Costco. And I was like, man, they have some pretty... Pretty cool, like loungewear or like shirts, shorts, and stuff like that. You trying the leggings? I really like this color. This color's nice, huh? I love that color. And then I really like this. Uh, what is this? What would you call this color? Hmm. This green one. Mm. Sage. sage, light sage. Light I knew sage. it. Sage is my favorite right it's now. It's light sage, yeah. Okay. I, I like this. Oh. Yeah. 
Oh, these are? those are, they're supposed to, like, I guess they're supposed to, like, fit you, like, the bottom is supposed to hit, like, not touch all the way to the <laughs> they're bottom. They're cropped. Yeah. But since I'm short, they fit me perfectly. Yeah. Do you like them? I do. Because I'm looking at the picture and I'm like, why are her shit, why is her they're shit They're supposed cropped? to be cropped, but <laughs> since I'm super short. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how I feel about them. You don't like them? Well, what do you think? I think it, it cuts me off weird. No, I think they're fine. Really? Yeah. These were ten dollars. Everything I bought today was ten dollars. I mean, honestly, for the price, and if you're gonna use them to like be around here and stuff, just like oh, casually, true. they're, they're not really bad. good material. Yeah. Let me look at myself in the mirror. If they were like forty bucks, fifty bucks, and I'd be like, okay, you know, yeah, but they don't look bad, especially for ten bucks. Oh, okay, I'll keep them. They're yeah. actually nice. Yeah. So you guys, we went to Costco today. Obviously. Really obviously. obviously, right? But anyways, we were in the frozen goods section, right? And Ooh. there was uh we bought like I like these uh Jimmy the Jimmy Dean um breakfast croissant sandwiches or whatever. And then Kim was like, hey, those are oh she'll show she'll show she's gonna show them to you right now. We're doing another Costco haul. And then she was like, Oh, these look really time. good. They're like uh, chicken sausage bowls and stuff with eggs, <laughs> like a little breakfast bowl, I guess. Hi hey, baby. <laughs> and then and then Kim was like, are they vegan? Because we bought these burritos and they're like vegetarian or something or I don't know. But anyways, we, you bought them. Though. Okay, yeah, I got them and because I was like, well, maybe they're good. Bottom line is they're really not that good. They're really bland. They, t they just tasted, they didn't taste good. And so this lady was there and she had her kid and she was like, Oh my gosh, you got this. She was like, these sausages are really good. I know they're veggie, but my kids love them and stuff. Cause I don't know if she like overheard us. And she, she did. I think she <laughs> didn't get my sarcasm because the last time Carlos bought something. But she was really nice. Like, oh, she was, she was so nice. nice. And she was like, oh, those are really good. You should try them. The last time Carlos bought these like vegan burritos and he didn't see that they were vegan and they didn't taste good which i'm not saying vegan food isn't good some of some vegan food is really good but he didn't know so i wanted to make sure that he didn't grab the same burritos and i was like make sure they're not vegan and i think that she thought that uh we wanted something vegan so she recommended these veggie sausage patties and i was like hell yeah i'll get them so we're gonna try these for the first time she said her kid loves them so i'm like oh, yeah sometimes kids can be picky so maybe if you they guys are really good. if you guys have tried this let us know oh. this is carlos's favorite he loves these if you guys ever go to costco these are so easy to pop in the microwave and they're actually delicious these are the jimmy dean croissant Breakfast sausage mm -hmm. Egg nice. and cheese sandwich. They're so delicious, you guys. I actually really enjoy these. I think they taste better than McDonald's breakfast sandwiches. And then we're trying these for the first time too. Jimmy Dean seems to be a really good breakfast brand. What do you but think? these, oh sorry, baby. Sorry, oh no, Coke. Come on. These are the Jimmy Dean Delights breakfast bowls, um, and they have chicken sausage, diced potatoes, eggs, cheddar cheese, onions, green and red peppers. So we're excited to try these as well. You'll probably see us try these in the vlogs coming up, but they look really good. This is what we got for the freezer section. I hope these are good. And then we got some um, berries, and then oh, we also got these. We're trying these two hot bugs. What? We got we got fruits to uh, make smoothies, but then we also got these three things that I'm really excited about. Dang, what did we spend that added up to that? I guess uh, that's it. That's all. Well, the clothes, maybe. I don't know. Dang, that's crazy. These are mini wontons. Oh. Got recommended these, so I'm gonna try these for the first time. Chicken and cilantro. And then we're trying these. We thought these would be so good with um, me, um, spaghetti, spaghetti meatballs. These are the uh, Adele's chicken meatballs. Oh, teriyaki and pineapple. Ooh. I'm excited to make spaghetti with these this week. And then we saw these yeah. and we were so excited. They're chicken um, skewers. skewers. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think once we get the grill this week, we'll pop these on and eat them with maybe some rice. Like a, like Luna Grill? Yeah. They look, look good. Yeah, they look really good. Oh, yeah, Grill BBQ. Oh, we could like smother them with barbecue and stuff? Oh, yeah, that, that looks good. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna move these back to the kitchen. What did you want, Bobby? Cranberry. Oh my gosh, you're funny. I know, it's okay. You got it? Yeah. How'd you know? Cause I knew you didn't have it, and I knew you wanted some. Gonna marry the shit out of you. Oh my god. You read my freaking mind. The diet ones, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. What the hell? That's why I didn't ask you. I was like, I'm already in the car. Cause I was, I like, was oh. like, oh, he didn't ask because he doesn't want to go back in. I'm excited for the grill. I know, me too. 
I need to find some snow crab legs. Oh, I guess it's done. I left the plate right here by the, and the tongs are right there. Okay. Hey, babe. We um, missed Handmaid's Tale the last two weeks. Oh, man. Wait, there's only, there's only two episodes for this? Yeah, but apparently the finale happened this week. Oh. I got sweet and spicy. I don't know if it's good. Oh, good. I like spicy stuff. Yeah. Oh, good. Don't go on the sofa. Stay here. Oh, yeah. Absolutely no sofa, guys. Hello. We just finished watching, oh my god, my hair is a mess. I let it air dry the other day. I don't know how I feel about letting it air dry, man. It'd be looking hella messy, air dried. Hello, I'm using my wide lens again. You guys have been loving the new lens that I've been using in the past three vlogs. The one with like the butter blurry background. <laughs> Chef's kiss, I love it. I got a present from Charlotte Tilbury and I wanted to unbox it with you guys. I already opened these two because I just couldn't resist, but then I saw that this was beautifully wrapped. Thank you, Charlotte Tilbury, for sending this. I'm so excited. I'm a huge, huge fan of Charlotte Tilbury. I actually just put in a huge order. I got the uh, cream bronzer that everyone's been using and the blush, and then I'm trying their foundation, and then I got their Pillow Talk lip products. I'm so excited to use them. They're so pretty. We just finished watching The Handmaid's Tale because we missed the last two weeks. I was not aware that the last episode was the season finale. In my opinion, season four was like good, but it was like not that good. Like it, I would give it like a six out of 10. I didn't think it was that amazing. Your girl has been obsessed with Manifest. If you guys haven't watched Manifest, season one and two are on Netflix and season three is current. It's on Hulu. I will say season one and two for Manifest was so freaking good. Season three is kind of whack. I think I'm gonna give up and then I heard that it just got canceled So we might never find out what happens from if you guys know what I'm talking about then you know what I'm talking about Anyways, let's open this together because it's so So darn pretty. Oh my god. It's like Christmas. I'm so excited. I just opened up these two This is their moisturizer and she is thick you guys like thick thick do you guys see how thick that is? Like Dairy Queen thick, like the blizzard thick. So I'm excited to use this because it's a really good moisturizer. And then we also got Scent of Dream, a perfume. I'm gonna give this to either my mom or Carlos's mom, depending on who likes it. Cause Carlos's mom really likes Coco Mademoiselle, the Chanel perfume. I love that, I used to wear that for years. And oh, how cute, oh my God, I'm so excited. This is my first Charlotte Tilbury uh, gift. <gasps> I thought, I, th I think I saw Pillow Talk. I did, yes. Ooh, okay, we got Pillow Talk lip liner. We got mascara. What is this, serum? I've never tried any of the Charlotte Tilbury skincare before. Oh, I'm so grateful, you guys. It's so amazing, like, you know, that feeling like when you buy products online and then a brand like sends you it. It's just, it's such an amazing feeling. Pillow Talk lipstick, oh my gosh. I literally just got some, but it's the prettiest color. If you guys are looking for that perfect rosy, but not too pink, but still kind of natural lip product, Pillow Talk is so good. This is bronze and glow. Oh my God, the packaging is just out of this world. Oh my God. You guys know me, I don't really like to bronze that much. So this is perfect. And then we have like three things down here. I'm definitely gonna keep the box because it's so pretty. This color is stunning. I love this color. I love the box too. I used to keep PR boxes every single time I would open up something and it would just got, it got so bad. I was like hoarding boxes. I think this is an eyeshadow palette. Look, look at this pretty packaging. Oh my goodness. Look at this, you guys. Oh, these are like, you guys, I'm a very natural makeup kind of girl. Even when I do like a full face, I still like it to be um, very natural. Is this the powder? You guys, I literally just put in an order, but I'm so excited. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, this is so pretty. It would be like a nice combination, a glow brush, blush, glow blush. I think this might be the same thing. Airbrush flaw. Um. <laughs> yes! I'm so excited. I have backups. The powder is amazing. Oh my goodness. It is 
so buttery and so good. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And they sent medium over. Oh, I love. Thank you, Charlotte Tilbury. I really appreciate it. Makes me excited to fill up my makeup desk in the master. You guys know how like we organized that the other week together or has it been like two weeks? I'm going to finally put my Holy Grail makeup items in there and sit there and finally do my makeup. Mini wontons from Costco. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. They're good. They're really good. Can I have more? Mm -hmm. Breakfast bowl. It's really small. Very small. I thought it would be like up to here, you know? $15 like for eight. How do we feel about that, bubs? Mm, not worth it. Not worth it, you guys. You mm. don't get a lot in the bowl. No. Expensive. Try it. You want to try it with me? Sure, but um, I need ketchup. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of everything. Oh, really? Is it bland? It's good, like but I can make it for you. I know. So, like, this would be like, oh, I'm in a hurry. I need to pop something in the microwave. Ooh! Oh, no. Um, This would be like, I don't know how to cook, and... That's why. I'm a busy person. That's why. Like, you just, you're out the door, and boom. Yeah, but it's not even that much. It wouldn't fill you up at all. All right, well, Jimmy Dean filled this bowl. Mmm. But the mini wontons from Costco that I showed you guys earlier... And the breakfast sandwiches, those are really good. The Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches are good though. Their hash browns are bomb too, remember? The, yes. Those hash browns that I bought? Carlos is gonna try the bowl right now. Mm. I can make it. It's good. But yeah, you can make it. Yeah. All right, we're trying the veggie patties that we uh, showed you earlier. They were recommended to us by this nice lady at Costco. This is water with a tiny bit of cranberry juice, but mostly water. I'll be honest with you, this, they don't smell very appetizing. Okay, veggie patty from Costco. Okay, go for Cheers. it. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad. Interesting. Not bad. Not bad. With some hash browns on the Wait. side and some scrambled eggs. Wow. Yeah. That's really good. I'm surprised. I need, um, they are very bland though. So you definitely mm. need ketchup or some like, some side. Wow. They're not bad. With some scrambled eggs and like things on the side. Yeah, obviously, yeah, like you're not gonna eat it alone. But if you have kids, that's actually not a bad option. Because she says she gives it to her kids. And she says that they love it. So I'm like, oh, I can see why. Water and a little bit of cranberry is the way to go. Mm. Hmm. You gotta try it with the ketchup. Mmm. You need something, like, you know? Not bad. To dip it in. Not bad. Okay. They're called Morning Star Farms Veggie Original Sausage Patties. Morning Morning Farms. Oh, Morning Star Farms. Yeah. I'm about to fight you. <laughs> you get 32. Yeah, they're pretty small. They're small though. This is half of one, so you can just kind of imagine how it looks. They're small, but they're good. Okay, baby, down. Thank you. You're gonna stay still, okay? Oh man, why are you nervous when you're not the one getting the haircut? Casper's such a good boy. Oh man, no, 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 no. Brother's okay, brother's just getting a haircut. You're gonna get a little trim after too. Brother's the freaking best. You're doing so good, baby. Come on, let mama see your face. Wow, is that my handsome boy? You are so good. You're gonna look so, so handsome. I know, you wanna smell the scissors? You're not scary. You look so cute in the freaking sink. You're like, Mama, I know I'm cute. Come on, let Mama see. We're just gonna trim because we don't know what they did to you, but they did not trim your head. I know, I know, we're almost done. Oh, look at that handsome boy. <gasps> look at that handsome boy. You don't look like a possum anymore. Okay, let's lean you up. <laughs> you look so good. Okay, let's take a break. Let's do some cuddles. I'm gonna breathe in and out and do some cuddles. Why do you look so comfortable in the sink? I don't wanna sit in the sink. You look good, man. <laughs> okay, I know, I know. I know, Bubba, I know. 
Well, you're not shaking yet, so I know you're not nervous. You just want to get down, huh? Okay, mommy's gonna round out your ears and then we can be done, okay? You just have such long hair on your ears, like your ears are actually only this big, but the hair has to... Why is your brother so nervous and you're the one getting the haircut? See, you look way better. Now let's round out those ears. But for the ears, you gotta stay still. I'm so excited! I got a package from the post office. We left the house, as you guys can tell. It is so hot. It is 5, almost 5.30. And it's like 90 degrees outside, you guys. And I'm in a long sleeve. Isn't that just great? It's because our house is really cold. We literally always have the AC on at 65 at all times. And so I feel like when I leave the house, it's just too much of a hassle to have to like change. But I got a package I ordered from this company, small company called Cat's Aesthetic. If you guys remember in the previous vlogs, I have been raving over her uh, totes that she makes. She makes custom totes. And her name is Catherine Tran. And she's from, oh my gosh, she's from Orange County. She lives so close to my mom's house. I'm so excited. She wrote a little note. Dear Kim, thank you so much for supporting my small business. Her handwriting is so pretty. I absolutely love watching all of your videos and I can't get over how adorable your dogs are. Thank you. I wish you the best and if you ever need more, don't hesitate to reach out. Oh, thank you, Catherine. I ordered, I think for this bag, it was $12. She has an Etsy shop. I'll link her Etsy shop down below. But it was $12 for her to custom make these totes. And I love the totes that she makes because I'm a really short person. I'm like five feet, like five feet on the dot. And and sometimes totes just hang too low on me and when she sent me her totes the first time because her friends are I think it's called OC picnics they do like custom picnic events I fell in love with these totes they're just so freaking cute so she custom made me another one the first one says hi friends with um, the dogs on this one says my name on it look you guys isn't this so cute it says Kim. It says Kim on it and then it has little flowers. I love it. It lands on me perfectly. It's not too long and it fits a lot of stuff. And I tend to use these a lot. But sometimes like I'll whip out like my designer bags. Like this is like my current favorite one. This is my, I forgot what this Louis Vuitton is called. But this is my current favorite one. Oh, the little, the little tie thing came apart. I got this two years ago at the Louis Vuitton in South Coast Plaza. If you guys ever go, I'll tie that later. If you guys ever go to the Louis Vuitton at South Coast in Costa Mesa, California, I believe, ask for Christopher. Christopher is amazing. He always helps me with everything and you should ask for his number because you can always text him so he can pull things aside for you. But I absolutely love this tote. Oh, it's so cute. The reason I got this was because I want to use this all like almost every day. But also the other one that Catherine made me with the four dogs and it says hi friends. I started using that one to pack all of the dog stuff when they go to like boarding or daycare. So yeah, thank you Catherine. Look how cute. This is, you guys. So cute. I kind of want to get these trays right here. $20 for a trash can? I can get a white trash can at Ikea for a dollar. Yeah. Put it back. Isn't this so cute? It's a leaning ladder and you can hang like towels on it. I love this. Okay, you guys. So, if you guys remember, oh, I forgot to share this. This is the new dog ramp for the boys. We didn't want them to keep jumping up on the bed and straining their joints and stuff, so we got them um, a ramp. If you guys remember when we first moved in, we got them stairs and we noticed with the stairs, they weren't secure on the ground. So whenever the dogs would like 
run up the stairs really quick, the stairs would move. Um, it's better if you guys have carpet so there's grip. So we ended up giving it to Michelle so Clem can use the stairs. So we got this ramp. I got it on a website. I think it's called Alpha Paws or something. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to link the ramp down below. I just got it. There was a huge discount and it came within two days. Shipping was extremely fast. And so we got the light wood one with the black um, and the middle part has great grip. And Cooper, oh my gosh, Casper, you just scared me. Mommy, come here. So when Cooper goes up, he doesn't fall. Cooper so far is the only one that's been loving it. We it takes it takes Rocky and Casper a little bit, and then Riley obviously is big enough where he doesn't need the ramp. But we did get Riley a ramp for the car because the Forerunner and the Rav4 Rav4 are a little bit too high up off the ground. So we did just get Riley a ramp so he doesn't have to jump onto into the car anymore. He now has one that leads him up into the car. Anywho, okay, so we have this whole mess going on on the bed because. These two are really ruining my vibe because I'm trying to figure out this is my makeup section You guys remember me showing you this the table and the chair are both from Target and the blanket is from Amazon and so I wanted to put a little tray here to Store like my makeup stuff So I wanted to give you guys some choices and see if you can help me. So let's go with the first one Okay, so this is the first tray. I got this from H&M. If you guys didn't know, H&M has a home section. And basically, I just wanna put the tray on the side here. And I want to put this flower vase. I also got this little vase, I think, Zara? Yeah, I got this from Zara Home for 10 bucks. Oops, the vase is so pretty. I'm like literally obsessed with it. They don't sell it anymore, I don't think so. So this is like my first option. I kind I like it because there's the black outline. It goes with the rest of the the setup. And then you guys know our room has like a pop of light wood. It's got like you know there's like a vibe going on. These are the dog bed dog houses. And then the middle has the same kind of design here. As you guys can tell, the middle of the tray is that same kind of outdoor design. I think it's called like. Raton or Raton or I don't know what it's called. So this is the first option to give you guys an idea. I brought some makeup products. Cause you know when you guys, like when we set it up, it gives us a better idea of what it would look like. So basically I wanna put like my foundations. This wouldn't be like the final thing obviously. But I just got this brand new one from Makeup Forever. It's completely water-based. Hopefully it's my color cause it was kinda hard. Like to give you an idea, it'll be very simple, super simple, oh my God. <laughs> what is he doing? Very simple to the point, kind of like that. Okay, so that's the first option right there. We love, I like it. This would be the second option. These trays are from Target and they're $10 each and they're so cute. I personally love this one. I love the white and black. Um, I love that it's smaller so I don't put unnecessary stuff into it. And it's just compact, simple, and I just love the whole simplistic vibe. So this is the second one. I think it's very cute. And then this is also a little light wood tray that I got from Target today. It's a little bit elevated, which is really cute as you guys can see. Hopefully you guys remember me getting this today. Um, I like this one, but I am going to be honest. I don't love it I feel like since the table and the chair and the blanket They have like a black and white kind of not a black and white but like an all black theme going on I don't know. I like the first two better, but leave a comment and let me know this tray is really cute If I don't use it here I'm definitely gonna use it in the kitchen because it's just freaking adorable. Hi, Koopy. Koopy is on the new bath rug. I just got this from Target today. I think it was on sale for like 14 bucks. But we needed a bigger one because the small one was like super small over there. And hello, Carlos empty the tub. Look, you guys, this is our bathtub. It's huge. I believe that it's seven feet long. That's great. <laughs> it's super wide and it's very, very comfortable too. I've only kind of half used it once. I haven't soaked my whole body in it. Eventually what Carlos and I are thinking is we want to get rid of the tub and extend, and extend the stand-up shower, all glass from one side to the other. So when you guys walk in and you look at the shower, this whole thing would just be a stand-up shower because we realized we don't really use the tub. But I did hear that a bathtub adds a lot of value to a home. So I don't know, I'm kind of back and forth with it, but I think like walking into a full glass stand-up shower from this end to that end and having like two shower heads would be like amazing. But we will see. It is a project that is not gonna happen for a few years. It's gonna be quite expensive, but we would love to invest in that. I think it'd be really cute. And we're gonna hang the two picture frames here. What do you guys think about this? This area right here above the tub. Should I keep that white? Should I 
put some black frames up. What should I do with it? I think it's so freaking pretty. Like this area is so pretty, I just don't know what to do. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. <laughs> So I always get questions on how I make my favorite pasta that a lot of people love and by a lot I mean Carlos and Michelle <laughs> and myself but I truly believe that this pasta is not only so easy to make and so simple you only need a few ingredients that are affordable and you can easily grab at any store it is so delicious and full flavor and I love it. I crave it all the time and my favorite part about it is that you can add any type of protein that you want to it and it will still taste amazing. Sometimes I'll do shrimp, sometimes I'll do chicken, sometimes I'll do steak, sometimes I don't even add protein and it's so good alone. I am missing one ingredient but without it, it's not going to change dramatically and it's Parmesan cheese. I don't have it. I do have like the ones that you sprinkle on top, so I might just settle for that. But I usually have the little cut up pieces where you can sprinkle on top because I love when the Parmesan cheese and the mozzarella cheese blend together and they melt into the pasta and it gives kind of that stretchy effect. It's so good. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today how to make. I just turn on my pot, I'm boiling some water. I added a little bit of salt to add flavor to the uh, pasta. Once that starts bubbling and boiling, I'll add the pasta in. You want the pasta to sit for about, I would say five to seven minutes, eight minutes max. It really depends. I like mine al dente, so it's not too soft, but it's not obviously hard. It's nice and chewy and so good. For today, I am adding this in. This is my favorite thing to add into the pasta when I'm making it without an actual protein protein. So if I don't do that steak, chicken, or shrimp, I love these. This whole bag is the Kirkland brand, which obviously is from Costco. It is the most delicious bacon ever. You can put this on top of anything and it's so good. Salads, sometimes I just do white rice. But if you sprinkle a little bit of this in your simple pasta, I promise you it's really gonna elevate the dish. So this is the Kirkland Signature Bacon Crumbles. This is what the bag looks like. Like I said, you can get it at Costco. We always have this on deck. It's so good. So this is the only thing that I'm putting in. And then we have mozzarella and sriracha and then seasonings as well. And then at the end, sometimes I like to chop up some cilantro and put it on top and mmm. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Starting now. You switched it? Yeah. We're, we're living the, the simple life. The big tray, baby. The big tray. Oh, yeah. He wants more broth. <laughs> we organized the dog section the other day. You guys remember I got this off Amazon. We have their vitamins up here. We have extra vitamins on deck. Thank you so much to Zesty Pauls for sending us so many. We have their dental stuff, extra bowls, open farms, and then down here, excuse me boys, we have all the open farm broth. They love this. 
you guys definitely should try it out. We have chicken, we have the chicken broth, we have the turkey, and then we have the beef. They have it, they have so much on deck. Thank you so much to Open Farms for spoiling the babies. They love it. They love the broth one. The broth is their favorite. Excuse me, Bubba. The beef? No, any of the broth, baby. Oh, yeah. God, you're so tall. I, um, I have to like lift the camera up. I put a little bit of water, but then now when they send us the broth, I just use that instead of the water, and they seem to be really liking it. So. Eventually, I would like to learn how to make homemade broth for the boys. Oh, that would, yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Cooper's like, whatever, as long as it tastes like beef. I will post a link down below for Open Farms. You get 15% off your first order if you use the discount code KIM, I believe. I'll have it listed down below for you guys. Save the 15%, you guys, um, and check out their snacks. We love the cod skin. Carlos hates it because whenever he opens the bag, it smells like fish. Yeah. But cod skin's really good for their coat. So we love the cod skin. All of the other snacks um, are pretty good too, but we love the bone broth. And then the dry freeze we love that as well oh no the freeze dried raw this one no the other one oh, this is their the, snack the, the dog treats these are um we just tried these this week yeah they're hydrated pork dog treats and they're like little squares and they love it which one are you talking about babe? the the raw oh this one we this. love we love putting this in their food or this can be fed as a meal by itself here i'll show you guys what it looks like you got them so excited oh i'll give them a snack i'll give them a snack they look like this. They look like little. Yeah. They look like little. Uh, sand. Maybe. They look like sand. On it. I don't even know. I'm like, what does that look like to you? But if if you have a small dog, you can literally feed that them. That will last forever. Um, you can give them to them as snacks or put it on top as like a topper. You know, dogs can be so picky, mm -hmm. especially ours. Like sometimes they're good, and then some weeks they're just like so picky. But yeah, check out Open Farms. Really good ingredients. You can find exactly. You can source exactly where your ingredients come from. They're really good. They have a lot of options, which I love. Um, so I'll list the link down below if you guys are looking for uh, different meals for your dogs. Those look tasty, I'm not gonna lie. I love these, these are good. They look like brown Cheetos. Oh like yeah, the yeah, they look like Cheeto Pops. Yeah. Cooper owns his house. <laughs> we just live here. We just live here for free. You tell our friends what we're doing tomorrow morning. We're getting the grill. Yes. Yeah, um, we have Scott. To be, Scott is the, uh, the dude. Yeah, Scott was supposed to call us this morning because he said that the new grills were coming in mm -hmm. and Scott never called us. Um, so then I ended up calling Costco around like five just to see what was happening and they said that they're getting four tomorrow morning uh, to our Costco and they and she said you better show up when Costco opens at 10 to get the grill and I was like okay. Scott did end up calling me though. Oh you did? He left me a voicemail. He said hey I didn't call you because they didn't, they didn't come in uh, but they should be here tomorrow morning and he said I'll call you when when it's there, and I was like, oh no, I'll be at the door, don't worry. Yeah. I didn't know that Costco let seniors in an hour early, I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, she said that at nine o'clock they let seniors do the shopping, but cool. she was like, I doubt seniors are gonna buy the grill. No, I know, but I'm saying like, I didn't know that, I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, I, um, I think they started it last year when the pandemic started. What's, con what's considered a senior? 60 and over? I think it's 65 and older. Six, oh yeah, 65 and over. It's either 65 or 55, but I think it's 65 because that's when you can retire. Oh, well, we have a long way to go. <laughs> hey, you know what's scary? That before we know it, we're going to be 65 with grandchildren and stuff. Oh, that's weird. That's I know, bad. right? The idea that like we could be pregnant next year is... I don't know, but I'm excited. For what? For a grill. Oh, I thought you were going to say for kids. I was like, okay. Well, yeah, I'm excited for kids, but I'm excited for our grill right now. I'm thinking the moment. I'm very know. excited for the grill. we got to buy crab legs. I want to use it ASAP pronto. Do you want to buy crab legs tomorrow and use it tomorrow? Well, you know what sucks? I need snow crab legs, and they don't sell it at Costco. Where do they sell it? Do you have to order it from... No, I think we have... They have it at Stater Brothers, but it's $20 a cluster, and I think that's pathetic. Yeah, you told me. So we'll that's really expensive. we'll look around for some crab some snow crab legs. Okay, last minute, Carlos was like, "Babe, we bought this yesterday at Costco. These Adele chicken meatballs. So I'm gonna cook them right now, put them in the pasta because we have been wanting to try them. It was a pack of two, so I put the other pack in the freezer and I'm cooking one. I'm really excited. I'm actually more excited for the chicken skewers, but Carlos wants to wait for the grill. What flavor is this? So oh, it's teriyaki and pineapple. Yeah, they look really good. Well, I'm very excited. I'm glad that you reminded me. Okay, so you're gonna wait for this, babe? Yes. Okay. Yes, I am. No. Este. Oiga, va. Este. Va a venir la chica el fin de semana? Creo que va a ir la Olivia y la Chessy, ¿verdad? Y la Poi me dijo que el mismo trabajo. 
What's up, guys? I love how you just have a piece of bread sitting here. It's two piece bread. Okay, ready? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. You're ready to go bite. It's so good, but I'll pretend like I. Yeah. Okay, ready? Cheers. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god! You guys. Oh my god! You need to try this. That was some white rice. Oh yeah. Cucumber. <laughs> this is so good. Mmm. Hopefully you guys took a screenshot when I showed you the packaging earlier. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh baby, we should get more and cook it for mom when she's over. You know what? It, it complements your. It complements the pasta because the pasta is kind of spicy and salty. Mhm. Mm and the meatballs are like a little sweet. Wait, the meatballs are so good. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Broccoli's good? Yeah. Costco's got some good stuff. Okay, babe, let's try. You guys, we're trying the Costco chicken skewers today. It smells just like the fresh pet ones that we get the dogs. Baby? Yes? It smells so good. Yeah. Bon appetitis. We're trying all, a bunch of Costco stuff this week. I know. Ready? Ooh, it's hot. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. That's good. That's really good. Whoa. It's good, guys. It's not that I didn't like it. I just need barbecue sauce. Oh my god. You want a little bit of barbecue sauce? Mm, no, thank you. Oh my god. It's seasoned so nicely. It's really nice. And they're already cooked. You just have to warm them up. Can I put the uh, barbecue here? Yeah. It's weird that she can catch flies. Are you down here? Oh, I caught one yes, uh, like two days ago. Oh! What? Oh! We're eating leftovers for dinner. We didn't vlog all day. We got our grill today. We woke up super early. Um, yes. Carlos bought this um, barbecue sauce from Stater Brothers. It's called Sweet Baby Ray's. Oh, the brand is Sweet Baby Ray's. It's really good, and it's not that spicy. Yeah, the one, the one that I got is sweet and spicy. They have a whole bunch of different ones. Mmm, that chicken's really good, Bob. Yeah, they had a whole bunch of different ones, and I don't know. I just saw it, and I think I've heard of Sweet Baby Ray's before. Like, I've heard that they're, the, the, the barbecue sauce is pretty good. So I was like, I'm gonna give it a try, and then I, I tried Sweet and Spicy. I don't know, just because, I don't know, I just chose it. <laughs> I love your reasoning. Because I did. Because, no, there were like, I think there were like five or six different ones. And I was like, oh man, I don't even know which one to get. But in the end, I was like, I don't know why. It just sounded good. Sweet and spicy. I was like, mm, that sounds good. Here, we're having leftovers from last night. Yep, these chicken skewers are really good, babe. I really like them. And if you guys can find, I don't know if they sell that at Costco. But if not, the barbecue sauce, that brand. We should check out barbecue sauces. Well, we have to. Or if you guys recommend any barbecue sauces that you guys really like, Beans. then go ahead and let us know. We're open to trying like bomb ass barbecue sauces. The chicken skewers. The one that Veronica and Ruben had was pretty good. Really? I didn't get to try it. The barbecue sauce? Yeah. What do you mean? It was all over the ribs, was it not? Oh, that was the ribs? Yeah, oh, it was in the little bowl. You never tried it? Mm-mm. Oh, yeah, it was, it was pretty good. I, I will say that I like this one more just because the taste is a little different. This on top of a salad? Mmm. Mmm. It's a Caesar salad? I love when I eat things and I can taste the the burn mark. The, the, the char? Yeah, it's so good. Anyways, we got our grill this morning. We woke up at like 9 a.m. Actually, that's like fine for Carlos because he wakes up so early, but not for me. And we went to Costco and we went straight to the grill guy. His name's Scott. Hi, Scott. If you guys live around like Elsinore and stuff, and you guys go to that Costco, and you guys are looking for a grill, yeah, you should go. He's really nice, really Look cool. Look for Scott. He gave us some some rub to try out, see if we like it. Oh my god, these chicken skewers are good. You guys, we didn't vlog at all today either. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon. We ran errands all day. I met a subscriber today because I sold my anthropology mirror and her and her husband, her name's Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Her and her husband moved to a nearby town all the way from Orange County. Uh -uh. Oh, they didn't move yet? No, not Orange County. LA County. 
Yeah. Sorry, LA County, but it was kind of like near that area. But her name's Nicole, and I met her today, and I sold the mirror to her, and it was amazing. I loved meeting her. She was so nice. And the mirror is in like perfect condition, so it's gonna look so beautiful in their new home. And then we were on our way home from running errands, and there was an ice cream truck in front of our house. So we got an ice cream. Well, we got an ice cream cone. This is a, a cucumber chile. Mm -hmm. And I got Guaba guayabana. Which is a fruit that I know in Vietnamese, but I don't know what it's called in English. But oh man. Sour, sour sock. Oh man, do we do we have a story to tell you guys? So yesterday, Carlos and I were like all over the place, as you guys can tell, we didn't vlog at all yesterday until we like ate dinner at night. We completely forgot that or no, I think it was a, it was a late delivery, and so it kind of slipped our mind. Because usually when deliveries come during the day, like Carlos and I are aware, we go outside and we get the packages and we bring them inside and we unbox and all that. But I think this package was uh, pretty late, and by then we had just eaten dinner and it just completely did not pop up in our heads to go and get it. So it had been sitting out there for I don't know how long, but this is what happened basically. We ended up watching Netflix because we couldn't go to sleep and the packages were sitting out there and then I didn't check my phone because my phone wasn't near me. So I checked my phone and it said that there was motion at the front door. Like, oh, it spotted a person. And I was like, what? Like, it's so late at night. We're not expecting anybody. This is really late for delivery as well. So I was kind of sketched out. But it, by the time I checked my phone, it was like four minutes ago. So I was like, oh, it's pretty recent. Maybe they're not there anymore. Maybe it was a neighbor. Like, you know, I didn't think anything bad of it. I was like, it's probably our neighbor. Maybe they got one of our packages and they came home late. And so they decided to drop it off at the door and I remember not watching the full video yet I just got like a clip of it and I saw a male in a blue shirt and he was holding like a white package so I was like oh, okay so I was like Carlos babe we have packages at the front door we need to get them so Carlos and I went to the front door and we didn't see any white bag and I was so confused we only saw two boxes and so we took the boxes in and I just like looked at Carlos and I was like wait let me let me actually watch this video I don't think it was a delivery person because one it's too late and it's so sketch and so I watched the video and it turns out that somebody I will put the footage here somebody literally came and stole packages off our front door basically and that's what the white bags that I was seeing they stole two target bags and another white bag and then we checked all of our cameras because we literally have cameras everywhere and we checked another one and it was able to capture their car and capture the whole thing go down so basically they drove past our house saw the packages he got out of his truck and he ran to the front door grabbed the bags threw them in the back of his truck and left and literally four minutes later was when I ended up checking my phone so it was just scary and you guys know like if this has ever happened to you um, This has happened to me once before where I ordered Adidas shoes to my mom's house and it literally I will never forget It said delivered at 420 and I went down there at 425 Like five minutes later and someone had ripped up the box and stole the shoes out of the Adidas box Like it was it's just invasive and you just feel violated and you feel you know, you just feel a lot of emotions, but we filed a police report and we're gonna report it to the builder in our neighborhood and also HOA as well. But when the guy came up to steal the packages, as you can see in the video, he quickly saw the camera, so he like dodged his face. But I mean, dude, you're obviously Caucasian, 5'10", you're bald. That is such like a physical trait that not a lot of people have. Yeah. Um, and then your truck is literally like right there. Like we have footage of your truck and everything. So the yeah. only thing, sorry baby, the only yeah. thing we can do right now is obviously did everything that we've done and we told all of our neighbors so everyone can be very cautious. Because I feel like sometimes when you live in a brand new nice neighborhood like the place we live is super nice you just feel safe you know you're like oh this would never happen to me and then it does so honestly you can never be safe like i remember telling like our friends and family like i want cameras everywhere like i want the best alarm system and they're like oh like you know you're overreacting and it's like no like when shit happens that's when you'll like really wish that you have those things we're just grateful that we're safe and those packages to the guy that stole them i hope you enjoy those target pillows Sure. They are very nice Target pillows. They're $30 each from, so I think, Studio McGee. So enjoy the pillows. And then the third package was a pillow for my freaking neck because my neck's been hurting and I hate the Ikea pillows that we have. But you know what? 
I'm not gonna wish anything bad upon him. Good for you and your pillows. And I hope that this never happens to any of you guys, but I believe in karma and yeah. it'll yeah. happen. Yeah, just just be careful, like Kim said, you know. Um, obviously now we're gonna be more cautious and at the end of the day, we're just gonna make one final uh, look outside to see if there are any packages and stuff like that, so. Yeah, yeah. we've definitely learned our lesson as well. We uh, Just one little one little skim before going to bed. Yeah, so, um, and then the guy drives like a, he, it looks like a, it's like a dark gray pickup truck and it literally looks like a, it's either like a 2000s Ford Ranger to, uh, Toyota Tacoma or like a little GMC truck, but I think the one that I think it looks the most like a Dodge Dakota if you guys know what it looks like. Um, and also like the car, like if this was our house, like the car like stopped right in front. There's no way to see the license plate and he also had like those lights that lit up the license plate so there was no way our camera was going to capture it. Yeah. But I was telling Carlos, I was like, man, you are so lucky that my ass did not open the door when you were there. I would have jumped him. And I would have screamed to bloody murder. And the um, and then the in the back of his truck, he has like these white like toolbox things that you can put on the sides of your truck. Oh, sorry, oh. <laughs> on the sides of your truck. And yeah, they're like white and stuff. So if you guys do live, well, I mean, honestly, wherever you guys live. But if you guys live like in you know anywhere like in the Inland Empire and stuff, I don't know if this has been going on or if he's like going around neighborhoods. I doubt he lives in this neighborhood. Like, Just be careful. There's no way that a neighbor would do this or like anyone that lives in like an, our surrounding neighborhoods would do it. So I think he's coming from like outside cities and stuff. Like I don't that. know, man. It's hard to trust people these days. You just never know. But he looked, anywho. Yeah. I mean, I don't like... Good for him and his three pillows. I'm happy for him that he has amazing pillows now. Damn. Just don't do that to people. Have some respect. Yeah, seriously. Anyways, no more packages to our house. That's for sure. Yeah. And then with the packages that do come here... Like I said, we're gonna, like eight o'clock is probably like the cutoff time for deliveries anyways. So we'll probably look outside. Yeah, I told Carlos, I was like, from now on, I'm shipping all the packages to our other mailbox. Like no more, I'm done. I'm just happy, like Kim said, it was just pillows and it wasn't something else that was like, more important or more expensive. Like Kim said, we already told our neighbors and stuff and now hopefully everyone is aware of like people coming. Yeah, but stuff, so. when I was talking to um, our friends and family about it, they were like, oh, like, you know, now that obviously he knows you have packages, he when he does his routes or whatever, he might like swing by and I'm like, shit, I'm about to put freaking old ass tampons and pads in a yeah. box and leave was, at the I, front I, door. I, that's what I was thinking because I'm not going to lie you guys, like I went outside, like I went, I took a drive to see if like, oh, that's the best part. I forgot to mention that. Right after that, Carlos got in his car. He was he was he was motivated. He got in his car and he drove around the whole entire neighborhood because he was like, "It's only been four minutes. He has to be here." Unfortunately, we didn't find them. But can you imagine if we found him? Yeah, because it's like I mean, if if I went outside and I found him, at least I could get his license plate, and then we have like a full matching, uh, you know, like something concrete. That we can give to the police so that he can stop doing this to other people, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, don't do this to people, sir. If you want pillows, I will buy you pillows from Target with my red card so we can get 5% off. But, you know what? Good for you. You won. It is what it is. We're moving forward. But, you know, just a disclaimer. Be careful, you guys. You can never be too safe or feel too safe. Mm -hmm. Um... I know a lot of people like go to bed without locking their doors because they're so comfortable in their neighborhood. They're like, this would never happen. No, hell no, you guys. Lock those doors. Lock those doors. Um, lock your cars. Lock your cars if you park them outside. Just be safe. You just never know. I'd rather be safe than sorry. But yes, that is what happened. The juice, the tea was real this week. I just got out of the shower, you guys. Do you guys remember this dress that Michelle got me? I wore it out once and then I feel like somebody made fun of me. So I think I'm just going to wear it at home now. <laughs> They said that it looked like a nightgown and I was like, I was starting to like stare at it and I was like, oh wait, it kind of does look like a nightgown. So I think I'm just going to wear this around the house now, but it is so comfortable. It is from Target and it's this baby blue color. And I think I'm letting my hair air dry tomorrow. I'm actually going to my mom's and then Carlos has to knock. Oh my God. I was going to say Carlos has to get groomed. I'm going to my mom. Riley's getting groomed and Michelle and I are going on a girl's lunch. 
I have been spending all day today um, selling furniture pieces and it's so funny because a lot of people on Instagram were like freaking out because they were like, why is this girl sell like, selling so much of her furniture? And a lot of people thought that we were moving. Um, we're not moving, you guys. We just moved into this house, so there's no way that we're moving. But yeah, I sold a lot of beautiful pieces. I sold my Anthropology Primrose Mirror, which was the gold one in the guest room. I sold the guest room bed, which is from CB2. That thing is like pretty much brand new and I attached the mattress to the combo because in California it's actually illegal to sell any mattresses that clearly have been used or have some type of stain on them. So I just gave the mattress with the bed for free. And then I sold two dressers, the dark wood, the dark brown dresser under the water coloring of the dogs. I sold that, I actually had two of those, so I sold them for the price of one. Everything that I sold was like 50% off. But yeah, I sold the two dressers. We sold Carlos's couch in the man cave. So that is going to two college sisters who just moved into their apartment. I originally wasn't gonna sell it for like 900, I got it for th like $3,000. That couch was expensive. It was a, the Utopia couch from Living Spaces. The other good news about all of this is that um, I get to meet my subscribers when they come and pick up the furniture. So I'm very, very excited about that. But I am actually going to finish up a few things and I'm gonna head to bed because I do have to wake up super early tomorrow um, to head to my mom's. And you guys will probably see it in the next vlog because I just keep vlogging and vlogging. Hopefully you guys are enjoying all these longer vlogs. Thank you so much for the love and support. It means a lot to me. I will see you in the next one. Bye.